Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Silent Core and welcome back to my Red Dead series. Today I'm going to be going over 8 updates we should expect with the next DLC coming to Red Dead Online on the 1st of December and also how much you guys should actually have saved in advance for this update based on the pricing of previous updates and content. So yeah, let's not mess around and jump right into this one. We're going to be getting 6 new photographs added into the game in the form of camp flags, bar portraits and photo studio backdrops and these are going to be free to claim for all, all players in the game. I'll show some of the previews of what these will look like on screen real quick. So we've got two new moonshine bar photos, we've got two new camp flags and also two new photo studio backdrops here to choose from and these were actually player created, they were winners of the naturalist photo challenge competition. Rockstar were pretty late giving us the results of this competition but they have confirmed that these will all be given out free to players. Moving on to the second update to expect is Outlaw Pass number 4. Now according to a verified leak this is going to be quite different from previous Outlaw Passes. So Outlaw Pass number 4 is going to be a full 100 rank Outlaw Pass and it's going to be available for 3.5 months all the way until mid-March 2021. It looks like we're only going to be getting 30 gold bars back in rewards from Outlaw Pass number 4 which is different because the first 3 main Outlaw Passes all gave you the exact amount of gold you actually invested into the pass in the first place and the chances of this costing only 30 gold bars are very very low considering even the first outlaw pass was cost higher at 35 gold bars so I think we're going to be paying at least 40 gold bars maybe even 45 gold bars for number four. The rewards we know of so far are new horse mane and tail styles, an iron tooth mask, new skill pamphlets, cold weather clothing and roll xp boosts. Update number 3 is the extension to the Bounty Hunter role. Now the price of starting each role has crept up with each update. The roles started out at 10 gold bars each to start and they've crept up to about 25 gold bars for the last few roles to get set up. Now we've never had an extension like this in the past, this is the first time Rockstar have done this. So we don't really know how much this is going to cost or if they even are going to charge for an additional 10 ranks. My gut feeling is that Rockstar will actually have some kind of upfront cost to unlock these additional 10 ranks as Rockstar releases these DLCs for free but they use the gold bars as basically kind of a paywall to get new players to buy gold bars if they want to get started in it right away and don't have the time to grind those gold bars. Now if you've already started the Bounty Hunter role, which I would recommend you guys definitely do before this next update drops, then you would already have purchased your Bounty Hunter license for 15 gold bars and perhaps Rockstar might even add in a kind of new property or a sheriff's office to kind of upgrade us with this next update and kind of justify charging new gold bars for unlocking these additional 10 ranks in the game. Rockstar have confirmed in multiple interviews in the past that they will be introducing new properties into the game and even discussed a communal property so that might kind of make sense if we had some kind of shared sheriff office where we could uh, match up with other bounty hunters. And if you think about it, just adding the 10 extra ranks to the current Bounty Hunter role wouldn't really be much of an update at all, so it kind of makes sense that Rockstar would need to bring some kind of new property along with this DLC for more substance. Alright, next up Rockstar has confirmed new equipment and skills will be added to the game along with this update. A few weapons we're still waiting to receive in the online game mode include the M1899 pistol, which is a very high powered semi-auto pistol that's only currently available in the single player of the game. Another weapon I'd love to see would be the Buffalo Rifle from Red Dead Redemption 1. Rockstar actually accidentally included this in one of their Newswire posts just a few months back in October 2020. The Buffalo Rifle was a pretty fun weapon to use from Red Dead Redemption 1. It has a very high power, it's got good range to it, it's got a fast reload speed and it just has quite a low ammo capacity and a slower rate of fire than some of the other rifles. But this was literally the most powerful rifle in the game and probably one of the most powerful firearms that you could actually own in the first game so it was very fun to use. So I definitely recommend you guys set aside at least a thousand dollars in Red Dead Online for any new weapons that are added into the game. For example the elephant rifle that was added with the last DLC had an upfront cost of 580 dollars. 
So perhaps some of these weapons might even have a higher upfront cost, and especially if it's a weapon, a pistol that you want to dual wield, you're going to have to buy two of them. So I definitely recommend at least 1000 to 1500 um, to have saved for new weapons. If you guys are looking for a gift for any friends or family who are aspiring creators, I'm running a special offer on my book, So You Want to Be a YouTuber. This is the ultimate strategy guide to branding, building viewership momentum and becoming a partner to start making money. This book is beautifully printed in full colour and you can even preview it for free on Amazon. Years of work went into publishing this book and I believe there's nothing quite like it out there and I think the reviews speak for themselves. Check the link in the description or search So You Want To Be A YouTuber in your local Amazon store. Update number 5 to expect would be an honour system revamp because currently it is very broken and Rockstar have confirmed they're going to be doing an extension to the Bounty Hunter as well as augmenting it so I do believe that augmenting will be to do with the honour system and how it works. Now the player bounty system also ties into the Bounty Hunter role and it is very broken. I've actually never been able to find a player bounty and I play the game almost every single day so that system is just very broken. Not to mention you can shoot up half a valentine and then feed your horse a couple of carrots and you'll be at maximum honour again. Also, do you guys remember Old Man Jones? He actually offers the ability to instantly change your honour from honourable to dishonourable for the price of three gold bars. And there's currently no real reason to ever use him or need this feature, so I suspect Rockstar will actually be balancing this more to actually make players and encourage players to want to use these vouchers and actually use this feature. Moving on to update number six, and this is a nerf to the gold payouts in daily challenges. Now I'm not going to cover this one in too much detail as I did a whole video on it yesterday but basically Rockstar are going to be removing everybody's streak and resetting everybody after just 28 days. If you manage to reach a 28 day streak you will be rewarded a small cash bonus and a treasure map in the game and your streak is going to reset back to one and you're going to lose your gold bar multiplier so that's going to result in you getting a lot less gold bar payouts from completing daily challenges. At the number 7 spot is to expect at least one new vehicle. At rank number 10 in the Bounty Hunter role you unlock the Bounty Wagon that cost uh, $875 and 3 roll tokens to unlock. However, this wagon sucks. It's really slow to drive, especially if your bounties start fleeing. There's no way you're going to ch uh, catch them in this wagon. And especially since you can't have your horse spawned at the same time as having the wagon out, there's, it's basically just a useless vehicle. I do think it's likely we'll get another vehicle or a wagon that will unlock through the extension of the Bounty Hunter role. Perhaps it might even be the reward for reaching the max rank of 30 in the game. Considering the level 10 Bounty Wagon costs $875, I'd recommend you guys at least having $1000 set aside for this new vehicle. Moving on to the number 8 spot is clothing. Now, I'm sure some of you guys care more about clothing than others, but some of the roll outfits can definitely add up. You know, they can be sometimes $400 or $500 per one outfit, and some of the clothing is even locked behind gold bars. So if you guys do like clothing in the game, make sure you set aside some money there, perhaps a couple of thousand and some gold if you do like to purchase the clothing. Alright, so to wrap this one up with my estimates, I'd recommend you guys should have at the bare minimum 100 gold bars saved in Red Dead Online. This will give you enough to purchase the new Outlaw Pass, unlock those roll XP boosts, and also have a bit extra if Rockstar do end up charging us more gold for the extension, especially if there's a new property added. As for cash, I'd recommend at least three to 4,000, allowing some spending money for a new vehicle, new weapons and skills, pamphlets, that kind of stuff. Potentially more if you do like to splurge out on clothing. Do let me know down in the comments section below how much cash and gold you guys have saved for this update. I'm interested to see how prepared you all are. If you watched this video all the way to the end, please take a few seconds to leave it a like. It really helps support my YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new so you don't miss out on any future breaking updates. Have a great day guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.